Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe right and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and sell it all. Put it on a new banger, a new uh, this video, you'll definitely be notified. Steel on steel. Let's get straight to right here. What is wrong with Tyson Fury? What's going on? Since so losing to Usyk. Fury has gone gaga and uh, looks like uh, Fury is not handling the loss well hopefully he he, show, he shows up for the rematch in December um but I think Tyson Fury is battling some demons right now you know and we need to pray for him and we need to keep an eye on him the last time this happened to Fury was when he defeated Klitschko in in, in Germany and and they got popped he got popped dirty after getting popped and serving a two a two year um, suspension people forget that the fury got popped for banned substance and then we all know what happened he started drinking partying doing all sort of thing in this case this was his first loss ever lost he said in the past, nobody, no man born of Zuma can be him. But Usyk, who, who he called a midget, and called us sort of names, be him. And my athlete to beat him in the rematch as well. Mao Joe, looking at his Fury's state of mind, what do you think he's like right now? What is going on with Fury? You saw the clip, him drunk, falling yeah. down, stuff like that. What's the analysis of it? Right. Um, I think it is not um, an easy thing for anyone to know exactly what Tyson Fury is going through. Um, we can only speak from, you know, just as an outsider looking in. But just a few thoughts about that. Um, now, the good book says that, you know, a pride goes before a fall. And you know, and I, Tyson Fury. Now there is a, there is a thin line between somebody being proud and somebody having confidence. You know, so looking at Tyson Fury, I think he started with, you know, a guy with so much confidence, but then from that he transcended into having so much pride. You know, I think that Fury truly believed that. No one in the heavyweight, in the current heavyweight division, will be able to beat him. Um, unfortunately for him, he failed to realize that you can't cheat your way into world championship. Even if you achieve it and you beat a guy like Wilder, who we all know that is a one trick pony, you take out the right hand, he's got nothing else. I mean, he beat Wilder two times, and the both of them. As a matter of fact, despite the fact that, yes, I started liking Wilder after the third fight against Fury. However, I cannot forget how the both of them, you know, manipulated the boxing community, making everyone believe that they are both number one and number two. And tried, they did everything to freeze AJ out of the old picture. They did everything, the both of them. Even the zone came along and offered Wilder so much money. Still, he didn't take the fight. Anyway, going back to Fury. So Fury believed that no one would be able to beat him. No one at all. Unfortunately for him, he met not his match. He met an overmatch. Somebody who is better than him. And the truth is, I think, I, I can't say for sure, but... You know, just looking on the out from outside, looking in, I don't think he's handling this well at all. And if you ask me why, did I say this? Now, when AJ lost against Andy Ruiz, nobody expected that. Nobody, nobody in the boxing community expected that at all. Yes, AJ lost. He got knocked down, I think, about three or four times in that fight seven or eight rounds before the referee stopped the fight but straight after that the next day what did aj do aj was sitting in a basketball court 
playing basketball with some local lads in New York. And everybody was like, oh, EJ, is that you? You lost against Ruiz, blah, blah, blah. And he was laughing and playing with people and just, and he released a statement the day after. I remember the statement is still on his, on his YouTube page. You know, talking about how, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but he's still a champion. He congratulated Andrew Ruiz and blah, blah, blah. And he promised that he's going to come back and all of that. But in the case of Fury, we have heard, pew, nothing. Cricket. Silence. Everything has been silent. Nothing. And the next time we're seeing Fury, after such a loss, and he didn't perform badly. He actually did not perform badly. Apart from around eight, when he almost got knocked, well, he really, he got knocked out. But yeah, but apart from that round, Fury did well. But I don't think, in my own opinion, I do not think he's handling this loss well. Because we've not heard from him. He's not released a statement. No Instagram post. No YouTube post. No Twitter post. Nothing. The next time we're seeing him, he's getting thrown out of a pub. Do you know, BBC, how much alcohol this guy would have had to consume to get that drunk? This guy is a big man. He's like six seven, six eight. I don't believe he's six nine. Do you know how much alcohol he would have had to drink to get that drunk where he eat his head against a post, a lamp post? They threw him out. A former WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Now, 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 I've 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 seen a lot of comments online. I am not saying he doesn't have the right to go have a good time. I'm not saying that he doesn't have the right to go to the pub and just get a few drinks here and there and just enjoy himself if that's what he's into. But you are an elite athlete. And you have a fight coming up in December. And that fight is going to be tougher than the first one. And what are you doing? You're getting drunk and getting thrown out of a pub. Bro, even for me, I'm not an athlete. I'm not a popular guy or anything. But it would be a disgrace for an ordinary guy, as far as I'm concerned, to get drunk to an extent where I lose my mind. I lose, my, I lose everything about me. And then I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm getting thrown out. Do you know what it means to be thrown out of a pub? So that means that he got so drunk that he was causing disturbance. Trust me, they don't just throw people out of the pub. They throw you out when you're so drunk and you're causing some kind of disturbance. That's when they throw you out. And the fact that they didn't even give him some slack, former heavyweight champion of the world, they didn't give him no slack. That means that he was causing so much trouble in that pub and they couldn't bear it no more. And they're like, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Get out. You can't control yourself. Get out. Former heavyweight champion, bro. Let me ask you, BBC. Would you ever imagine yourself in that kind of position? Just as you are right now, as a man. Well, no, bro. Of course, no. No, yes, you can go have a drink, one or two drinks here and there, fine. You can go have a good time. You can go out with friends. I mean, I came to Amsterdam, I saw you. We could go out and be like, let's go chill somewhere. But we're never, ever going to find ourselves in that kind of position where they throw you out of a pub, bro. He's not in his, as far as I'm concerned, listen, he's not, he's not in his right sense right now. He's not, he's not in the right state of mind. I don't think he's handling this loss well. I don't think that this loss... Is going down well at all and i just hope in all honesty like you said let's pray for him i just hope even if he's not going to fight Usyk again even if he's not going to take the rematch i don't mind i don't care but just man to man just on the on the on the basis of humanity i don't want to see him go down that hole again bro i don't want to see him go down that rabbit hole again because if he does this time is going to be worse because the first time was because he won a fight against Klitschko. He couldn't undo the success. But this time is even worse because he got beat. So if the people around him don't support him, if the people around him don't find a way to get him out of this state of mind, bro, 
this depression this time might be worse. I hope and I pray that that is not the case. Just on the basis of humanity, boxing put to one side, boxing is just a sport. It's not a big deal. But I just hope that the people around him are standing by him right now and trying to do the best for him. You know, look at Yusik. I watched an interview Yusik did about three days ago. Yusik said he has already watched that Tyson Fury fight. He's fighting Tyson Fury a, a number of times already. And he's already taken a lot of notes, the mistake he made in that fight. And what is Fury doing? He's getting thrown out of a pub for getting drunk and alcohol and these athletes at the age of 35. Yeah. This guy is freaking nine years younger than me. And it looks like he's like my daddy already because of the way he's, he's lived his life, bro. Anyway, I pray for him, bro. And I hope, I just wish him the best. I pray that the people around him are not in his life for the money. I hope that they're really going to stand by him put boxing to one side because personally i don't think that rematch is happening anyway i said this before this video came out i don't believe that fury will be able to handle that loss he's not an aj bro yes while that handled his loss really bad but at least he came back i don't think fury will be able to come back bro damn That's bro you literally just hit the nail on the head i think we have our brother right here at Diwali on the line Diwali, are you here with us yes sir yeah, what is your take on the state of Matthias and Fury? You know, you saw the video recently and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, do you think Fury is losing it? Yeah, Fury, Fury is definitely losing it. The guy needs mental help. He, I believe him when he said he had mental problems back then. But I, I, I still won't give him so much benefits because... He has a lot of privileges. I'm not going to pretend like the media wasn't giving this guy all types of benefits, treating this guy like, you know, basically using a different rule when it came to Tyson Fury. And the only the only reason why, in fact, even in the fight against Usyk, they still treated Fury like a diva. They were still rooting for this guy. They felt like Fury was the guy that would bring them more money. And that's why they were all treating Fury that way, to be honest. And there was also the aspect where um, during the Wilder tr trilogy, they wanted Wilder to be the absolute villain. So they did everything to demonize him, to make him look bad. They degraded him as, at any opportunity that he had. And even when Wilder came out and claimed that Fury put something in his gloves, no, they just simply said, no, it's a lie. It's not possible. No, no. Nobody conducted any investigation. Nobody checked out anything. It's possible Wilder wasn't cheated, but what if he was cheated? Me personally, I believe he was cheated because there is no way that Tyson Fury's gloves looked so strange. Plus, there is no way that you could punch someone in the head and leave an impression. That does It doesn't make any sense, but nobody, they treated Tyson Fury like, this guy can never do any wrong. This guy is the best. When he came out and claimed that, oh, I have mental health problems, everybody started making documentaries. Oh, Fury has mental health problems. Treat this guy nice. Imagine if imagine imagine Deontay Wilder came out back then and said, Oh, I have mental health issues. You know what they're gonna tell him? Shut up. We don't care about your mental issues. Get away from here. So these are the double standards that I'm not gonna pretend like I don't see. But as far as now, 2024, Tyson Fury coming out of bars drunk security guards are pushing him out this guy is falling all over the place man he is he's back to his depression he's back to his depression the right thing for him to do is to seek help i doubt if he will i highly doubt as if he is that kind of person and i'm pretty sure that that rematch with Usyk is not going to happen i i am just too confident about that i don't think there is any clause that makes it mandated for them to fight a second time like it was in the first time where if anybody had pulled out for a second time like tyson did the first time they will be fined 10 million dollars i don't think that case exists in the rematch clause so more than likely fury is just going to balloon in weight he's probably going to start doing drugs again it's, it's just going to it's down downward spiral for tyson fury if you ask me i still wish him the best I don't, I don't wish anybody to be completely destroyed. Even though I don't like Fury, it doesn't mean that I wish him to be 
to to completely lose in life i don't wish him that um i don't see him ever coming back and even if he decides to come back he's going to lose again to Usyk. so he can go relax and retire damn man like <laughs> relax and retire where the Usyk rematch now people are saying it won't take johnny nesting has been very adamant in in uh, that final taking place he said fury no fight we'll see for the second time but the fight is on the rematch is on do you think it's not going to happen for real for real so at the end of the day it's 50 50. because if if this guy stands a chance of making 50 million dollars in a rematch even if he's not in shape it could be like you know what let me go get knocked out and get paid 50 mil so it's possible that a rematch will happen but I know that we are never, ever going to see a prime Tyson Fury in the ring again. It's not going to happen. I'm confident about that. So if the rematch happens, it's going to be a <laughs> the shadow of Tyson Fury that will be fighting Usyk. Mm. And I hope the IBF quickly mandates their, their championship and forces the title holder to fight, um, you know, Hergovic, no, Daniel Dubois or maybe if Isaac can be on the line for Dubois versus AJ that would be awesome too mm. I don't know if I may just if I may just add to what you said right so even my, my point of view is that even if Fury um, say he has the desire to take that second fight I don't think that he will be in the physical condition to even be able to take the fight bro mm. that's the thing even if he actually wants to take it. You see, the, the route is taken right now. Yeah? If he continues on this route, I only give it a month. Fury Fury doesn't have a good body. I'm afraid yeah. to say that. He's going to balloon in a month. It doesn't take long for Fury to balloon. And if he goes down that rabbit hole, he's not coming back. Trust me. Yeah. This guy has been officially diagnosed as being bipolar by the NHS. So really, it's a half madman. Really, <laughs> mentally, he is half mad. In Nigeria, really bipolar. It's here that really? we're bipolar. In Nigeria, that's weary. That's weary. Really? So I don't even think he will be able physically if he goes down this hole of beer, alcohol, bro. He's done. If he goes down, if he goes down this route, they need to stop him now, ASAP. If yeah. they leave him another two weeks, one month, bro, this fight, he's not even going to be able physically to do it. That's it. Well, this guy, yeah, this guy has abused his body, man. He has really abused his body over the years. You know, blow, going up in weight, coming back down, drinking, snorting hard drugs. Come on, man. This guy has done so much damage to himself already. And that's why he lost to Usyk. He was supposed to beat Usyk. He was supposed to beat Usyk. He's a better, he's a bigger, stronger, better fighter than Usyk, if you ask me, prime for prime. But because of how disciplined Usyk is, Usyk was able to get that victory and Fury couldn't. So I, I am 100% convinced at this point that we are never, ever going to see Tyson Fury anywhere close to his best ever again. That's my opinion. His best days are behind him. Forget that. Even guys. Before, going into that, before going into that fight, I've always believed that his best days and that that performance again, you see, is going to be his last best performance. I believe that. Hmm. Damn, man. Now, oh, wow. Thanks, what else? I appreciate you guys for staying through and uh, about the channel. God bless you all. Stay for me. God bless you.